Here we go again with more Giro d'Italia. Enter the second real week of racing now, and this time we're doing a hill stage from Foligno to Arezzo. Potri right now is second overall, not that far behind. Uh, who is it right now? It is Valverde, 39 seconds and 15 seconds ahead of Nibali. Po is also doing really well, of course, in real life. Po has sadly crashed out now. Uh, I'm recording this on... This is Tuesday, and this will probably go up like Friday as... Actually, I think it's all go up sun, Saturday as Sunday. States 8, I can't exactly remember, but I'm recording this well ahead of time, so that's why I don't know everything that's been happening. I'm recording this uh, before stage 4 is going on, so it should be some kind of Milan and Remo kind of stage. Hoping for that, at least I'm going to watch it, of course, this afternoon. But let's get into the stage, and hopefully, Putsubi can hang on. We will of course use Po as our biggest helper. Okay, we are nearing the bottom of the climb. I have Montaguti here. I would like to get water up front to Peru, Putsubiu. Bad news about this stage is Putsubiu is in bad day shape today. Mine is free and he's active. Yeah, he has less than left than Peru has. So, not looking that great right now for my little plane here. And uh, Valverde sitting up front here. I think the climb is about to start. I don't think I'll get water up, so we might. I think we can last a, a while anyway. So, let's set Dupont, Catri, and uh, Monteguti here to relax. And we put Piro on Pozo Vivo here. No, that's the wrong way. Piro on Pozo Vivo. And Pozo Vivo, I'll try and put him around 80 here. Just starting out here. And we'll see what happens. Let's create a smaller group. Don't know if that, that was really an attack from uh, Lopez from Sky. Petancourt now. Working, I think, for Valverde here. Oh, he's driving fast up this climb. I don't think this will be a good day for me. I can already feel it that I'm I'm going to struggle a lot here. But you can see a lot of riders down here are struggling as well. A little crabble like second as well. That's pretty nice. I like the fact that they added a lot of. I've I have played quite a bit of this database now, and there's a lot of status with crabble on it and. It's a nice feature because that wasn't really a lot in the, ex the real game. So now Visconti is gone. You can see the favorites are Landa, Nibali, Belverde, Dumoulin, Chavez, Fultang, Uran. All the favorites, Micah here now. It's a small group here now. Up to the flat section here. A few flat kilometers here. It's Chavez and Fultang struggling. Landa will have to bridge himself here. He's caught behind Chavez and Fultang. And first and third and second are together. Peru, of course, leaving them all out. I could get water, but I'm not going to because I know I'm going, probably going to get dropped uh, pretty soon here. Yeah. And there goes Valverde. I'm surprised that Nibali isn't joining him. I expected him to do so, but Valverde is the best hill rider in this race. Nibali might get back at him uh, once we beat, what's it called, uh, the mountain states instead. But we go over the top here about a minute or so after. What is he called? Um, uh, Valverde. This will probably increase his gap. I have set myself behind Nibali right here. I could just put Shankostov Bull here to pull up in front here. Increase the gap to guys like Landa Maika. Because right now I'm guaranteeing myself a better and better chance at third overall. Or at least a podium overall, that's what I meant. Otsovivo, Perot used the end of the gel here. I'm just hoping to regain some energy with Otsovivo here. Uh, we are gaining time on the group behind us, but losing time to Valverde. Valverde is so strong right here. Can clearly tell that he's not. <laughs> he's looking to gain a lot of time here because this is his kind of uh, of stage. Five kilometer mark, I think it was there. Yeah, he's like two kilometers ahead of us. Of course, it is downhill, so it isn't as doesn't seem that bad, but it is. Three kilometers now. There goes Valverde. Why can I not follow him? Let's try sprint for second place here. 
final kilometer. I have no energy left here to, to really battle against Nibali. But I'll take third and the four bonus seconds. I think I got the same time as him. Peru, really impressive. Fourth place. I actually think he'll jump, jump quite a way up in the standings. Let's take out the new OR results after stage 8. The overall victory is getting a bit out of hand with Valverde dominating right now. But podium is looking really likely at the moment. So with the rest of those results, I of course finished third on the stage. I'm still second overall. Of course, I, I lost four seconds or so in bonus seconds to Nibali. I uh, gained a minute on the rest of my competitors, but lost two minutes to Valverde. So kind of a win-lose day today because I'm securing my podium space even more. But on the other hand, the victory seems to be more and more out of sight. Perot jumps from 10th to 9th, overtaking Fulsang. And probably he also take Amador. I don't really know. I uh, overtake Amador because he lost three minutes. He was already ahead of Fulsang before today. But he's closing up against uh, from fourth to eighth. There's only like a minute between fourth and eighth. Bit of a gap up to second and third between me and Nibali, who are really close. And then Valverde right now, well ahead in first. Tomorrow's stage will be a flat time trial. It's the longest one of the of the the longest time trial of the, the stage race. Uh, we also have a mountain time trial later on, but this is the long, longest flat one. 76 times of Nibali, 74 for me, and 75 for Valverde. So it will be pretty close. Tom Dumoulin will probably also get really close to us in the standings after this, as will Rigoberto Uran. So we have a lot of talented time trial rides in this race. This is going to be difficult for guys like Landa and, uh, uh, what's it called, Sean Christoph Bro, I would imagine as well. No, he actually is pretty good. Landa is the weakest rider of all of these. Every other time, every other rider in the top 10 have plus 73 time trial, I actually believe they have. So Landa is going to lose a lot of time tomorrow. Hopefully we won't. See you guys next time. Goodbye.